Hi friends, it's Linda here, and this week it's all about flying squirrels, and other squirrels too, but the myth that goes along with flying squirrels is that they can fly, and they can't. They are gliders. They can jump really far. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring the taxidermy one outside with me today because he's attached to a display. So let me take you inside and give you a closer look. Okay, so we're inside. The northern flying squirrel is right there. I know he's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to give you a better look. Well, the northern flying squirrel has a furry membrane that's attached from their wrists to their ankles, and it's that flap of skin that allows them to glide through the air anywhere from 50 to 90 meters. And they are mostly active at dawn and at dusk, which makes them nocturnal. So you'll notice that they have big, dark, bulging eyes, and that helps them with their night vision. And although it's very rare to spot one in the wild, friends of mine actually did and captured it on video. So let's watch. They also have a flat furry tail that acts like a rudder as they jump through the air. It steers them and they can actually pivot up to 180 degrees, which is also impressive. So a special thanks goes out to the Forzy kids for this great video. Now the black squirrel and the gray squirrel are actually the same species. The only difference is their coloring. And even the gray squirrel in the winter, he's more of a silvery gray, and in summer turns more of a yellowish gray. And they can often be found hanging out together. But the red squirrel is only about half the size and he likes to be alone and is very territorial. He also has a carnivorous side and has been known to steal eggs from birds' nests. And he is sometimes confused with the eastern chipmunk. And the chipmunk is easy to recognize by those white stripes. And he has those cute little cheek pouches. It's a beautiful day. Don't forget to get outside and enjoy nature.